Let's get on with the video. Let's get on with the video. Yes, what's going on my lovely people of the YouTube? So we are back for another video. As you can probably tell by the title down below, we are doing a tutorial on how to add stars into your photos using Photoshop. So without all the waffle, without all the chat, let's just get straight into it. Let's go. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open Adobe Lightroom. Right, and then you're gonna wanna take your image, you wanna right click on it, you wanna go to edit in, and you wanna change it over to Photoshop. I'm using that image, what were the chances that it was just left up like that? It's almost like it was pre-planned. Right, so while we wait for that to go in. Okay, and then once you've got your image, uh, Right, so once you've got your image, you want to go and you want to press Command and you want to press N. And that is Command New and you want to create a new document. Now, you want your width to be at 500 and you want your height to be at 500. And I can't stress enough that it needs to be on pixels. If you do it on centimeters, you're not going to be able to save the brush as a preset and it ain't going to work, folks. So. On pixels, 500 by 500, resolution 72 is absolutely fine. 8 bit, all that rubbish, that's fine. So, we want to go and create it. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is set to black at the front and white at the back. And we're going to go over to our brush tool and we're going to right click on our new document. So, what I tend to do is I tend to use the first brush here and I slide this one up to about 60 or 70 percent for this one would we'll do 70 and I move this down to about nine yeah we'll do nine down there yeah nine seems fine and you want to put a black dot in your bottom left like that then you want to go and you want to move this down to about four and you want to put a little black dot in the top right there and the reason we separate the two dots like that is because if the two dots were close together and we saved the brush as a preset, when coming to use it later on in our image, then it just comes out really fake. And yeah, you don't want it like that. We don't want it look. We don't want it to look Photoshop. We want it to look real. So put your brush in the bottom left, top right, and we're good to go. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to head over to our. I can't remember what it is. I think it's edit and we want to do define brush preset so let's save that as brush tutorial star tutorial it doesn't really matter brust brust tutorial star is what we're going to save it as because that is what i typed out so now we have our brush brush tutorial star you can actually see our brush coming through there so the next thing we want to do is we're going to actually head over to our image and the first thing is we want to create a new layer because I always forget that. So create a new layer so that when we use the brush, we put it on there. So next thing, come over to here, change this to whites. And that means that when we do the actual brush and we use our brush. So now if you right click and you go all the way to the bottom, you'll actually find the, you find your brush that you save. So there it says brush to tutorial start. So we click on that. And if you go over to here, you can actually see the preset or the brush that we saved and obviously that looks terrible and does not look anything like stars so i'm going to show you how to do that so let's get rid of that so you're going to want to come up to window and if photoshop would let me click it there it is window and you want to go down to brush and you can get this lovely little bit of selections all down here shape dynamics texture dual brush transfer all of that kind of stuff here you've got your little preview so it will show you what's actually coming out onto your image so the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to uh, is we're going to click shape dynamics and we want to we want to change our size jitter and we're going to put that all the way up to 100 percent. so you can already see in our preview here that we have separated and it's basically randomly imposing different sizes within the brush and sort of spreading out. So now when we come over to here, we can already see the difference and it's already starting to look a bit more starry. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna put your angle jitter and I always put that up to 100%. And now that means is that as well as putting in different sizes, we're also putting in different angles. So now we can really tell that it's sort of really starting to look like stars 
and yeah, it's just looking 10 times better already. But we're gonna go one step further. You can also change the scattering, that depends on what size you want. Now for this image, as I know that I've gotta put it into smaller areas, I can actually keep the scatter down and actually put it at zero. But if you've got a larger area to cover or you just want the stars to be further apart, then you can change it. And as you can see, if you watch down here, you're watching the brush strokes scatter and come further apart. But that's actually, that's a complete preference, it's up to you. I'm gonna put it down to zero because I know I've got to fill a smaller gap. So I'm gonna take scatter off. And the next thing that you must, must, must do is we're gonna come over to transfer. And look at that, mine's already at 50%, but for the first time you've ever done it, it's gonna be down here and we don't want the opacity to be at zero because for obvious reasons, it will just look hard, it will look horrible and it won't blend in. So let's change that up to 50%. Right, so once you've done that, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna save that as a final, final preset. So you come up to the top right here, new brush preset, and whatever you called it, Brust Tutorial Star Final, I will call that. And now I have my brush saved. So we can get rid of this, and we can come, right click, and we now, if we hover over this, we have our brush, our Brust, Tutorial star, and that's definitely too difficult to pronounce, but you know what I'm trying to say. We can select that, and we can actually now, once we have our layer down here, we can start filling it in. So deciding on the size, that might be all right. Let's actually start to fill it in. Now, it doesn't matter if you cover over anything that isn't the sky, because I'm gonna show you in a second how you get rid of that. Now, that already looks 10 times better, there's a bit of a gap here. You basically just wanna fill all the sky down by the horizon as well. You can also now, if you add a new layer, come down to here, add a new layer, you can also change the brush sizes. And that basically, oh, that might be a bit too big. That basically can add that dreamy effect. You can fill in smaller areas that might have not been able to be covered up. And yeah, you can basically create that sort of further start, closer star sort of look. And yeah, just making it a bit more realistic, basically, which is obviously how we want the image to come out at the end. We don't want anyone thinking we photoshopped it in. So, now you have that, what you wanna do is you wanna go Command E, and that will bring your two layers actually together. Uh, and then we wanna take, because we're obviously trying to now get rid of this, because this all looks terrible, but we just wanna keep the stars in the sky. So you want to come over to add layer mask and we add layer mask to that. And now we just want to select a normal brush. So we have our normal brush selected. We want to make sure that's on black, which it is. And now you basically just spend your time brushing over because we've added it to a layer, the black sort of removes the brushes that you've put in, or in this case, we we'll call them actual stars. Uh, and you want to just basically come over anything where stars obviously wouldn't be and obviously it looks terrible so as you can see i'm just coming over don't be too neat with it it really doesn't matter obviously you want to get rid of them so like maybe like these ones here look a bit too fake maybe that one on his elbow so as you can see just going over everything that shouldn't have stars on it uh you can even zoom it in might help a little bit more add the bigger brush Uh, and then you want to come over, maybe get the smaller brush out and just fiddle with the buildings over here. Just sort of take a brush over them, just so we don't have any loose stars, random stars, where they shouldn't be. A few there as well. Over this building too, we don't want them on there. But yeah, you guys get the picture. Right, so. That looks 10 times better. What you can do is you can fill these gaps in as well, here and here, and just along his arm, making a smaller brush, and it gives it that little extra professional look. Uh, the last thing that I like to do is come over to my layer mask and just change the opacity and just sort of blend the stars in a little bit more. You don't want them too vibrant. Again, between 50 and, I don't know, 70%, something around there is decent. And yeah, guys, that is basically how I, myself, add stars to an image. Uh, hopefully it's helped. If it has, 
drop me down in the comment section below what you liked about it. Also, I'd like to see if you guys used it. Send me your images through Instagram. My stuff's all down there. Send me on whatever social media you want to send it to me, but I'd love to see your images. Tag me in them. Let me know you used my tutorial. That'd be an amazing, amazing thing to see. So yeah, I hope that's helped, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are liking these tutorials. I want to see a massive 20 thumbs up. Can we hit 20 thumbs up on this? If you're using it, I'd love to see it. The support has been amazing, guys. Always a massive thank you to you. I hope that's helped. So as per usual, guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Signing out. Peace.